chilling tales for dark nights. The Limp by David Isaacson Narrated by Caden Von Clegg Featuring Miranda Townsend and Otis Jarry Not long after my grandfather passed away, my grandmother told me this story after I asked, Grandma, why did Grandpa always walk with a limp? He brought the limp home from the war, she said. Was he wounded? I asked. Yes, she replied. But not in the leg. He was wounded in the heart. What do you mean? I asked. Well, I will tell you, Grandma began. After he came back, he never liked to talk about what happened over there, and for a long time I never knew. Your grandpa never had a limp until the day he came back from the war. He refused to use a cane or crutch, no matter how much he struggled with walking. Then, it was on a dark, stormy summer night, as he was limping down the hallway toward the bedroom, in a flash of lightning, I first saw it on his leg. At first, I thought he had something wrapped around his leg, and I asked him from the bedroom what it was on his leg, but he did not reply. In the dark, it looked like something was attached or holding on to his leg. In my mind, I thought it looked like a small child. When he got to the bedroom, whatever I saw was no longer there. Paul, I asked, what was that on your leg? I saw it. I saw something. What was it? He laid down in the dock next to me in bed and said, It's been 53 years, I guess it's time I told someone. And he began. I've seen and done a lot of terrible things during that damn war. Horrible things that I've tried to forget, but it never lets me, not even for one day. I will carry it around for the rest of my life. It started when we landed in New Guinea. There was a small native boy from a nearby village who began to hang around our camp. The only words he knew in English were, Yes, G.I. And he would walk around saying it to all the fellas. Later, I found out his father was the chief, or some kind of witch doctor of the tribe that was on the island when we landed. There was still fighting going on. It was dangerous to have him hanging around. So, some of the boys treated him as a pest and would try to scare him off. But he always came back. One dark, stormy night, the Japs counterattacked our position. They damn near have Varanus. I could hear them yelling and screaming, running between the tents. God, I was scared. As I stumbled out of my tent to join the fight, I felt something grab and wrap itself around my leg. I swear I didn't know what it was. I just knew I had to get out to my position as fast as I could. But I could barely move my foot from the floor. In the dark, trying to get free, I swung my rifle butt down and struck down on the side of my leg at it. <laughs> In a flickering of lightning, I saw his scared eyes looking up at me, blood running down his cheeks. Out of fear, the boy had grabbed onto my leg and was sitting on my foot. Then his eyes rolled back into his head, but he didn't let go. He never let go. He will never let go. <laughs> <laughs> 